so tough. I heard you were tough. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You're looking for somebody? You're, uh, your keeper, maybe? I'm looking to hire you. Two fifty. Half now, half when you solve the case. How did you get in here? Sam's gone, and you gotta find him. Who's Sam? Your brother, your friend, your lawyer? My dog. Elaine. We were taking a walk, and this big dog in our building spooked him. He took off, and I haven't seen him since. Well, what about your parents? Can't they find him? They're in Acapulco. I can understand that. Elaine. Billy, what are you doing here? Beat it. I'm busy. Uh. He's been asking about you for days. I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, really? It's uh, not a bother. No. I'm Dennis Booker. I know. Jessica Barber, VP Finance. My sister's in Mexico. She left Billy with me. This is the third time this week that he's escaped from the daycare center on four. Come on, Billy. Uh, listen. Hey, I could probably make a call or two. Uh, that's real nice of you to offer, but I'm sure you have more pressing matters. Don't listen to her. She's a troll. I really wouldn't want you to go to any trouble. Really, it's no trouble at all. I'm facing some downtime anyway. Okay. I'd appreciate it. And if there's anything I can do to return the favor. I'm sure I'll think of something. This is me and Sam on my birthday. Nice month. Half now, half when you deliver. New case. So I heard. Come on, the kid needs help. Oh, yeah, and this children's crusade doesn't have anything to do with the fact that the kid just happens to be Jessica Barber's nephew, would it? Well, we can always use friends at the executive level. Uh-huh. Come on, it shouldn't be too hard to find Sam. New case? Yeah, I, um, I really shouldn't, you know, talk about it. Hmm. Was a missing person? Poor kid. Wealthy family? If we find Sam, we're talking, uh, 250. I like it. Good. I wrote the big dog to her no, mm -hmm. but she didn't do anything. I'm gonna sue. People with big dogs are a pain. She's got a short brown coat and big ears. The woman? The dog. She's short and cute if you like them that way. Yeah. Bart's probably worse than her bite. The dog? The woman. Apartment 16D. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, the dog's name is Killer. The big dog? Hello? I just came to ask you a couple questions. Raymond's already asked them, and the answers won't change. 
I'm just looking for a kid's dog. That's it. He said your dog chased it away. I don't know anything about another dog. Just go away. <coughs> okay, I believe you, all right? Both of you. Special delivery. I can't believe you actually found him. That's, that's great. Yeah. Sam! Yeah. He was trying to cross against the light. Um, thanks. I guess I'll say it works sometime. Yeah. Maybe I'll um give you a call. Hey, book. I'm keeping the buck in the quarter. You're welcome. Crane owns the outlaws and just about anything else you can imagine. But why is he so important to you? Well, he's responsible for one of my partners being shot, another one going to jail, and me losing my badge. Is that enough? Um, you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, it's a breeze. So what are we going to see, lifestyles of the rich and infamous? This has got to be it. Well, that's Raymond Crane. Raymond Crane's in the airlines, football teams, Las Vegas hotels. He's going to be in the prisons by the time I'm done with him. What are you planning, Dennis? Payback. You're not going to use this tape, are you? What about Tina Maxwell? What about her? I didn't see her complaining anywhere on this, did you?
I was gonna take Rainbow Crane down from the outside. But he was too big and too powerful. There's too many walls. Maybe this will get me inside. And then what? I'm gonna bust him any way I can. Whatever it takes to send that guy to prison, man. What if he figures out what you're trying to do? He'll kill you. No, no, there's gotta be something else you can do. Something safer. Safe? Safe won't get me Raymond Crane. Elaine, I'm gonna nail him. I'm gonna turn him inside out. I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Okay, uh... I got the money you wanted from accounting. What do you need $5,000 for? I'm here to see Mr. Crane. Do you have an appointment, Mr. Cook, and I don't need an appointment. Is that so? You'll see me. Call security. I got something I know will interest your boss. The question is, do you want to be known as a guy who security. brought me in there? Or the guy that tried to keep me out? Picked a hell of a time to try and prove something, son. Seems like I picked the right time to me. You've got one minute. What have you got for me? Home movies? Something like that. Let me explain to you how this works. It's like a poker game. Very high stakes. It takes something just to sit at the table. With an ante like this? I'd say it's my deal. Let's see what you've got. This is Danny Anderson on the punt return. I'm going to pick up his option for two more years once he passes his physical. Well, the quality kind of suffers once you copy it a couple times, but, yeah. Stop the tape. Leave us alone for a moment. Where did you get that tape? I'm not here to blackmail you, Mr. Crane. I'm looking at the big picture. Me working for you. Now, Mr. Crane, if I can penetrate your life, imagine what I can do to the competition. We'd be good for each other, Mr. Crane. I'm a very resourceful guy. I can make you a lot of money. And in return, you let me sit at the table. You let me watch, listen, learn. Then you deal me in. Who are you? I'm you, Mr. Crane. 20 years ago. You have a very unorthodox bargaining style, Mr. Cook. Never be afraid to use what you have. Anything can be turned to your advantage. You read my book? I know it by heart. You know, I just might have a position available suited to a man of your unique talents. You could start there, maybe work your way up. I have to be at the groundbreaking for my new stadium later on this afternoon. Be there. I was right. That bitch Tina stole the tape. And gave it to Cook? No, he probably took it from her. He doesn't even know what's on it. So we'll have someone take it from him? No. That kid's smart enough to have copies stashed all over town. 
I am six days away from closing the biggest deal of my career. I got $100 million at risk, and that tape could blow me out of the water. I run a check on him, of course. But in the meantime, string him along. Give him whatever he wants. Keep an eye on him. What he doesn't know can't hurt me. Took a lot of nerve for him to come into my office. How do you think he'll like his new job? And so begins the future home of the outlaws. Huh? Yeah, great. What's the matter, Dennis? Your new job a little too taxing? Well, I just don't think you're using me to your advantage. Oh, come on now. I expected more than that from you. Remember, anyone can talk. The man who gets ahead is the one who can listen. Outlaw girl. Crane really has an eye for it. Eye for everything. Well, how well do you know Mr. Crane? Worked for him for 12 years. Well, Mr. Davis. Davis. Everett Davis. Huh. Tell me about him. Mr. Crane, I figured out why you wanted me to be a bartender. You knew I could get information. Very good. And? And you got a guy named Davis on your team, heavy hitter? Well, he's leaving your organization. But he's waiting to get more info. Could be a big problem if you don't deal with it. That's very good, Dennis. Very good. But if you want to play the game, You've got to bring me something bigger. Dennis, you can ride with Tina. I'm sure you two have plenty to talk about. You know, building my own stadium gives me an opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do. Bury somebody in the end zone. Stop the car, please. Wait a minute, we need to talk. Well, we'll leave, we'll leave for that, don't you think? Now that you've used me to buy your way from dog catcher to right hand man. Hey, you brought your own way in. I didn't have a choice. What makes you think I did? Oh, you had a choice, all right. And you burned me. Just like you burned that guy Davis in the limo. Look. I'm sorry I took the tape. A lot of good that does me now. That tape was my ticket out of here. And you punched it and left me wide open. I don't understand. You really don't know why Crane wants that tape, do you? What do you mean? Crane is a dangerous man. And you don't understand what you're getting yourself into. And how can you be so sure? Because I didn't know. so far. I got some more info on your boss and something pretty interesting on that um, football player Danny Anderson. Yeah, great. If you think you want to hear it. What do you mean? Well, isn't ruining one career enough? Give me a break. Come on, Dennis. I'm serious. How much do you have to become a guy like Crane to get a guy like Crane? Elaine. I'm going to show them that there's still some American ingenuity. Dennis. You try to buy the best, so you buy Japanese. And look. 
look what happened. Well, next week, I'm going to be buying Japanese. I'm going to steal an entire company right from under their noses. And they'll never even know what hit them. By the end of the month, I'll have the majority of their shares in my back pocket. And by the time that happens, hell, they, they might just put my name on the side of that VCR instead of Toshiba. It's interesting you should ask to speak to us. We were just getting ready to speak to you. I can wait. No. I'm afraid I can't. You were seen at a party thrown by Raymond Crane. Further investigation reveals you seem to be working for him. So you think I'm spying for him, is that it? No. We know you better than that. We just would like you to tell us what's going on. Crane is planning a takeover of Toshima. I've been trying to stop him. What? The volume of Toshima stock being traded has risen 20% in the past three days. It's a seasonal phenomenon. It's Crane, Chick. He's eating you up alive. I've got him talking about it on tape. We can nail him. We can push for criminal charges. All right, just wait a minute, Booker. If he's making a run at us, we'll try to stop him. But we're not going to push for a criminal investigation. That isn't how business people do things. Chick, Crane doesn't play by your set of rules, man. He's a murderer. Come on, Booker. There's never been any evidence of that. Yeah, it's because he's good at it. Listen, just take a look at the tape or give it to the legal department. <sighs> OK. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to get close to him, see if he trusts me enough to let something slip. But um, I'm going to need a micro recorder. Get one from research. All right. Booker, I don't want you to go over the line on this one. And I want another report tonight. You signed an exclusive agreement when you came to my company. The penalty for violation was clearly spelled out. Yo. By the way, Davis, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that your new job offer has been rescinded. You see, I hired the man who was going to hire you. Thanks for the drink. So, I hear you have something more for me. Yeah, it's about Danny Anderson. I'm picking up his option tomorrow. Well, he got in a car accident uh, a couple days ago. He went to his personal physician instead of the team doctor. It's an old scam. There's a... Uh, Tendon damage in the left knee. The report gives him a 40 to 50% chance of ever playing ball again. These are confidential insurance company reports. How did you? Uh... I told you. I'm a resourceful guy. Call Danny Anderson's agent and tell him we're cooling off on the deal. Uh, what about Davis? What's gonna happen to him? <laughs> you just watched me bankrupt him. What more do you want? I heard you were more decisive when it came to people who were disloyal to you. Well, Dennis, even a man like me has to carefully choose his shots. Besides, I don't know what you're talking about. But you're showing me something. 
You take no prisoners. I value that attitude in my players. It deserves a reward. Come with me. Quite a place, huh? Yeah. I know the owner. Me. Dennis, you can have anything here you want. Well, I can use some new pipes for a shovel head I got. No, son. I mean, you can have a bike. I'll have my personal mechanic set it up for you. How did you get this book? It's not important. I'm afraid it is very important. Legal looked at the tape. And? And our possession of it could destroy Tashima. Tashima, huh? What about Crane? Now forget about Crane. This tape is obviously private property. If I had to guess, I'd say you stole it. Now, you could go to jail for that. And if anyone else sees this tape, we could be sued for invasion of privacy. Come on, Chick. We both know Crane is making a run at Tashima. He's probably got everyone he knows parking stock right now. That may be, but he didn't admit it on this tape. Well, what if he did on other tapes? Then we can nail him. Booker, right now, Crane could nail us. You could take us down instead of him if you keep this up. Now, I don't know what your problem is with Crane, but you've got to lay off him now. And one good thing came of this. Legal was able to trace where Crane got his information on this. Seems one of our own financial VPs, Jessica Barber. Turns out the building she lives in is owned by Crane. He gave her her start in business five years ago, and he's been making her pay for it ever since, in more ways than one. But you burned her, Booker. You brought her down. We owe you one for that. Dirtbags down to work for Crane. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Coming. 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 You're crazy, man. It helps me in my line of work. All right. I may be crazy mechanic, but, but I'm not on his side. Then who the hell are you? I'm Peter Maxwell's brother. Who are you, man? I'm someone who wants to throw Crane off the tallest building in town. Yeah? Yeah. You better take a number and stand in line behind me, man. Well, if you don't like him, why do you work for him? Sister Tina got me a job. All I needed to work. But I didn't know about her and Crane, though. Well, how'd you find out? You hear things, man. Crane likes to show his tapes to people. See, there ain't no way in the world a man like that should live. I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't. I'll take him down clean, Mickey. Come on, man. I just want to see the man burn, all right? I don't care how clean he is. You got it, man. Tina is my sister, all right? I have got to take care of her. Well, is that a lot you're gonna be able to do from a jail cell, all right? I'll take him down, I'll do it clean, and all you gotta do is stay cool. I need to talk to you. Just go away and leave me alone. Listen, I just talked your brother out of killing Raymond Crane, all right? I may not be so lucky next time. You know, when you
you came here last week, I figured Crane had sent you to get the tape. That's why I called Mickey. And then when I found that the tape was gone, I knew you were trouble. Well, if I'm trouble, how do you describe Crane? It doesn't make any difference. Crane owns me. Is that what this is all about, huh, your career? Well, what else is there? Five years ago, I was a high school dropout with a mom who was a drunk and a dad who was more interested in taking me to bed than her. So at least now I've got something. Yeah, you got a little more than you bargained for. Just leave me alone. Why, Tina? Crane's not gonna leave you alone. Listen, I used to be a cop. And I know how Crane treats you, and let me tell you something, it's not gonna get any better. He's gonna keep hitting you harder and harder and harder until someone makes him stop. Well, what am I supposed to do, huh? Crane has a lot of tapes, right? Sometimes he'd make me watch them with him. Did he ever talk about uh, business on them or, or illegal deals or anything like that? That's when he likes to brag after. Gina, I gotta get those tapes. If other people see those tapes. Listen, I can't make you help me, but I think you can make a career without Crane. <laughs> Well, what if I can't, huh? Well, if you can't, and if you don't think you can make it without him, then you gotta ask yourself a question. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Well, I have to get the tapes myself. Just tell me where they are. You can't get them. They're in his house. And I'll have to go back there. Raymond? Hi, it's me. Yes, I know I've been a bad girl, but I want to make it up to you. Please. You know I'll be good. Yes. Tonight. He's sending a limo at 6.30. And when he's asleep, that's when I'll get the tapes. All right, Tina. Listen, Mickey and I will be outside. If something goes wrong, we'll take him down, OK? The reports on Toshima from the last hour only confirmed earlier trends. It's Tashima, they're fighting back. It's Cook? I don't think so. He's too good at what he does. He's been too helpful to me. Then who? Tina. She and her brother must have figured out what was on that tape. They're playing their hand, trying to push me. Yeah, Mickey, I thought you were on your way over here. Yeah, um, something's happened. What? Well, Crane security people are supposed to leave their bikes here so I can tune them up for some big road ride they were having this weekend, right? Only a couple of minutes ago, they stopped by and picked them up. What, do you know where they're going? No, well, I was in the back and they didn't see me. I don't know, I don't know. It, um, sounded really weird. 
but i heard one of the guys say something about a construction site um the place where they're going to build the new stadium meet me there and call the cops now Listen, no, no, listen. I'm sorry, I don't have any more information for you. You will find out when you get there, okay? Just send a couple of squad cars. All right. You burned a lot of people. But if you really wanted to get me, you'd have burned Tina, too. You're wrong, pal. I do have you. You think so? Yeah. Well, let's say I wanted to meet Tina here. So what? I own this property. My security men saw you drive up they pulled out their guns to protect Tina. You know, it's funny. You could have tied me to Tina's death. But since she's still alive, there's no evidence at all. Drop it! Drop it! Great! I'll get you, Crane! No sign of him anywhere. I think Tina got home okay. So what are you gonna do? You gonna go home? I got a couple things to do. Listen, uh, thanks, Elaine. I'll see you later. Wait, Dennis! So you really want me to give this man Davis a job? Yeah, I burned him bad. And listen, can you give Jessica Barber a second chance? I'm over to a less sensitive job. You don't know what she's been through. And what about you? I'm going to get some help. 